Summary of Marriage is a Private Affair by Chinua Achebe. In the beginning of marriage is a private affair, Nene asks Nayameka if he has told Okeke, his father, about them getting married. Nayameka thinks it would be best to talk to his father when he visits his town in six weeks, but Nene tells him to write to Okeke and tell him sooner. She is sure that Okeke will be happy, what parent wouldn't be happy that their son is getting married? But Nayameka has to tell her that things are more difficult than that because Okeke is from a rural community and Nene has lived her whole life in Lagos. He says that in his community, it is normal for a father to choose a partner for his child, and that the spouse must be Igbo. Even though Nene finds this hard to understand, she understands for the first time that Okeke might not be happy about them getting married. She is still confident that Okeke will forgive Nayameka, so she keeps telling him to write a letter to his father. Before going back to his house, Nayameka finally manages to convince Nene that he should tell his father in person. Nayameka smiles when he thinks about the letter his father just sent him. In the letter, Okeke praises a woman called Yugoi, especially her Christian upbringing, and says that he wants Nayameka and Yugoi to talk about getting married in December. During Nayameka's second night in his village, he asks his father for forgiveness and then says he doesn't love Yugoi and won't marry her. Okeke is shocked that Nayameka won't marry Yugoi, and he doesn't understand why his son thinks he has to love her to marry her. Okeke tries to get Nayameka to change his mind, but he won't. Instead, Nayameka tells Okeke more about Nene, especially about how she is a Christian and a teacher. This makes Okeke even angrier, because he doesn't think Christian women should teach, but he gets the most angry when he finds out that Nene is not Igbo. Nayameka, on the other hand, stays firm and says that he will marry Nene. Okeke gets up and leaves the talk. That night, he won't eat food. The next day, Okeke tries again to get his son to change his mind, but he fails. Because of this, he says that his son's choice is Satan's work. Nayameka, on the other hand, still wants Okeke to change his mind, even though Okeke says he will never accept Nene or even meet her. Everyone else in the town agrees with Okeke and is sad that Nayameka decided to marry a woman who spoke a different tongue. Some people think that Nayameka's actions are the beginning of the end. Matabagwu, a person in the town, suggests that Okeke talk to a local doctor and get medicine to help his son get better. Okeke says no, and says that Ms. Ochoba's mistakes are why he won't ask a local doctor to help his son kill himself. After six months, Okeke still hasn't shown up. He even sends back the picture of Nayameka and Nene's wedding, but with Nene cut out, along with a letter about how little he cares about the couple. After they read the message, Nayameka makes Nene feel better. Okeke still won't see or let his son live with him after eight more years. The Igbo society in Lagos is hard on Nene as well, but the community comes around and accepts her in the end. Okeke's village hears about Nene and Nayameka's happy marriage, but Okeke doesn't care. He uses all of his strength to drive his son crazy and almost dies in the process. Okeke gets a letter from Nene one day, though. In the message, Nene says that she and Nayameka have two sons and that the boys would like to meet their grandpa. Okeke feels guilty for the first time since he turned away from Nayameka. Even though he tries to fight it and push his feelings down, the raging storm outside forces him to think about what his actions will mean for his family, especially since he is no longer close to his son and grandkids. He can't sleep well that night because he's afraid he'll never be able to make up for what he did. About the author Chinua Achebe was born into a wealthy and educated family. His father, Isaiah Okafor Achebe, was a Christian school teacher and his mother, Janet Iliad Bunum. He was given the name Albert in honor of Prince Albert, who was Queen Victoria's husband. Even though Nigeria was still a British colony and would be until 1960, Achebe's first language was Igbo. He didn't start learning English until he was about eight years old. As a child, he grew up listening to traditional Igbo language and stories. This gave him a strong connection to his culture, which he continued to value even as he learned English and became fluent. 
He did well in high school and at the University College of Abadan, where he studied medicine. However, he eventually moved to a liberal arts program and studied history, religion, and English instead. Around that time, Achebe started going by his Igbo name Chinua, which in its long form Chinua Lumagu means, my spirit, come fight for me. In college, he also started to write stories like Marriage is a Private Affair, which looks at the changes in communities and cultural issues in African societies that are caused by colonialism. Even though his earlier works aren't as well known as his 1958 classic, Things Fall Apart, many of the themes are the same and deal with colonialism, Christianity, and traditional society. In the 1950s, Achebe also worked as a top radio officer. But as he got better at writing, he started teaching in Nigerian and American schools. His last book came out in 1987. Hope we summarized it fully and you liked it. Please hit the like button and subscribe to our channel so that we are motivated to create more videos.